You know, Nicole, two things are alarming. Number one, Mike Gallagher's letter, there are 535 members of the U.S. Congress. He only could get 12 people to sign it. Like, why didn't 535 sign it? That would be my first question. Yeah. Uh, it's a head scratcher, right? My second question is, I just had a segment uh, with my friend Joe Reek from Salt Lake City, and we were talking about all of these U.S. Uh, food plants that all of a sudden are burning down. Chicken uh, processing plants burned down, chickens killed by the tens of thousands, cows, 18,000 of them were killed the other day. Now we got uh, 10,000 hogs killed. CCP is buying up farmland. Um, is this all happenstance, coincidence, or could there be infiltrators attacking our food supply in preparation for the next something? I mean, is that possible? Because you, don't we at least have to ask that question now? I mean, it's a perfect time to ask those questions. And let's stop using the CCP is buying. Let's start using America is selling. So um, CCP cannot buy anything if somebody in this country does not want to sell them. So let's ask who is selling America's uh, meat processing manufacturing to the CCP and who is uh, allowing the CCP to build its battery plant uh, in Michigan and who is selling the U.S. farmland near mis military installation to the CCP. Who are those sellouts in this country that have been allowing and inviting and encouraging the CCP to infiltrate this country? And what are the lawmakers and U.S. politicians do to stop the CCP's infiltration? I think those are the questions now that have to be asked. Uh, we also know that, you know, it's it's coming to light now that, okay, the FBI uh, shut down the one police station in lower Manhattan that basically the CCP had its own police station. But now we're finding out that there's, we don't know how many of these there are. They're in Texas. They're in Minnesota. They're in Was yeah. the state of Washington. They're in California. They're in major cities. We don't even know the, ex the extent of it. How do we get to the bottom of this? Nicole. I would encourage every viewer of your show call, to call your congressman and ask more people to support Mike Gallagher's letter and demand Christopher Wray and the FBI to start investigating all the operatives of the CCP's um, uh, infiltration on the U.S. soil because we know that they are CCP's front organization in, in almost every major city across the United States of America. And that they're not only just uh, spying on the Chinese dissidents. They're spying on the American people, and they're also getting involved into the local politics. And guess what? You know, um, I mean, it's the lower Manhattan's uh, secret police that put together fundraiser for Democrats, for local politicians. And these politicians took the CCP money as part of the campaign. So this is how the CCP has interfering with the U.S. politician, with the U.S. Uh, presidential election. Let's talk about those questions. I mean, it's not just a, a simple uh, police station, they're getting involved into the U.S. politics. They're going to determine who the next U.S. president is going to be. Well, you know, yesterday, uh, and I'm not, I don't have time to run the, the, the clip here, but yesterday, one Democratic Congresswoman was uh, actually saying, you know, we should stop criticizing the CCP because um, it's causing hate crimes against Asian Americans. Uh, and she said some might even get murdered. Are you aware of any hate crimes against Asian Americans perpetrated by other Americans because of what the what we're what we're trying to expose that the CCP is doing? Do you have any evidence at all of that? Because I don't. Well, well, as a Chinese American and Asian American, I must say that we are the biggest victim of uh, the DOJ and uh, uh, SEC uh, capability of doing nothing to stop the CCP's infiltration in this country. 